It's a Betsy Bujo video. I'm Betsy. This is my Bujo. Let's see what's been happening since I started this bullet journal back in February of 2019. 2019 is the year of the Earth Bore. For those of you who didn't see my first video on when I made this bullet journal, yeah, this was the thing I was supposed to do in 2019 is um, have the courage to be hated and the courage to be happy. It's not working out so well yet, but you know, there's still like over half the year that I can keep doing things. Some things have been updated on my one to two year goals, especially in the Korean department, because it used to be um, watching YouTube videos and now it's not. It's uh, read or listen to a Korean folktale because I got a book and this book is wonderful for me and the way I want to learn. So that's happening there. I also added that um, I actually need to finish my transferable AA degree. Like I already have three AA degrees, okay, three. But apparently none of them are good enough to be transferable to an actual university. So that's fun. So that means that's pushed my um, earning a BA degree over to the three to five year goals since I'll have to go back a step and finish that AA degree and such. Yeah, that's life's little curveball there. My index is being filled up so fast. I actually had to split the left hand page to do two columns because I have more things that I like to keep track of for myself than my work, which is on the right. So yeah, that's a thing. Future log I still love. It's ugly, so we won't look at it very long. And February, I already covered that in another video. The life-changing magic of tidying up. Not really any progress there. Webcomic, no progress whatsoever. Although, little tip, if you have a big um, project that you're working on that you don't work on very often, get a sticky note and just tell yourself what is exactly the next step that you have to do, like next action. For me, it's filming, but I haven't had time to film yet because I chose to film this instead. So there. Uh, my art classes page. Layers and layers of epic whiteout uh, because I keep changing my mind. So that was a lesson learned for those of you who are teachers and using a bullet journal to like brainstorm your art classes. Like maybe don't write it in pen until you're 100% um, sure. Otherwise you're going to use like layers and layers of whiteout like me. That class is over. So yeah, that class is over. That class is over. It sort of crashed and burned at the end. So did Redline. Yep, crashed and burned at the end. Didn't even fill out those boxes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this. This right here. This makes me mad and also depressed and just, I don't understand people. Like I made one of those little pixely grid things where it's like supposed to be full of colors by now, right? I even put my month totals at the bottom. Look at those ridiculously low numbers when I only do things like three times a month, five times a month, and the rest is just blank. The black ones don't even count. That's when like I don't go to work, so how am I supposed to track that I didn't eat lunch at work? You don't. It's like not applicable. This is ridiculous. I do not understand these pixel ones. I'm sorry. Like if they work for you, great. But for me, I just look at this page and I go like, what am I even doing with this year? Look at that. A lot of nothing. Nothing. So moving along. This one is now completely useless because again, I changed my mind. Not going to watch um, YouTube videos yet. Like I feel like that's a little more advanced and I'll go back to those videos later. But for now, I actually got this book traditional folk tales in Korean and English for language learners. That's very important, I think, because um, it's written by a professor and other people who are trying to learn a second language, I guess. And so there's these teeny tiny little stories, like maybe five sentences, not even a story, really. And then it's in English, it's in Korean, it gives me the vocabulary, but it doesn't explain any grammar to me, which is actually what I really want and how I want to learn this language is just naturally like a child, so I'm not going to have every little grammar point, you know, told to me. These are ridiculous also. I never look at them, and they are useless because these things have changed. So yeah, moving on. Ikigai, I still look at it every once in a while and go, what am I even doing? Okay. Then, here's some new spreads, sort of, maybe? Sometimes? Did I? Did I show you guys this one? I don't remember. Like, way back when I was doing my KonMari list, like, I actually did do a KonMari thingy and I went through my digital notes and a lot of my digital notes were basically like recommendations from my teachers of what to study. So I wrote down like to watch the title, why should I watch it and like says who. Because you know sometimes your opinions of your teachers change over time you're like oh, I don't care if Mr. So and so said I should watch that because I don't like his taste and whatever. They also gave me people to look up like other artists and you know like other instructors I guess. 
them have question marks. I'm not even sure because I just wrote down these names and said look them up and I'm like not even sure who they are, what am I looking up. So there you go, future me. If you ever take more notes on what to look up, maybe write down the reasons of why you should look them up. Here's some brainstorming for our class for the Dragon Prince. Nothing really much to see there. Level up drawing and original character menu. This is failing and failing hard. I don't know, in my mind I think it's very methodical, very step by step, that I made these posters right here, so you can kind of see like, here's how you will get better at drawing. Let's get better at drawing. But nobody cares. Nobody comes to actually learn that stuff. They just go on the computer and they start drawing. Which is fine because, you know, that's practice, but I don't know. I don't know. Also, painting class. Look at This was the very first day. Here's everything that went wrong. Okay? Wrong. The people could not blend the paint on a large surface. Okay, I get that. That's practice. Okay? There was a little girl using a blender brush, which we're using blush brushes, like cosmetic brushes, and she was using it to paint with, and I was just like, oh my gosh, no. There's, oh, just no. I mean, some of them got fixed. Most of them in, whoa. So, um, that's a work in progress. Large scale dragon paintings. March, totally flew by and I never made a video, but I did use my March monthly view and did some things. It always looks like such a train wreck at the end though. I think I either need like a dedicated pen or even just like a dedicated handwriting style, something, because when I come back to these, it's just like, you know, handwriting throw up. It's just awful. I did start using a habit tracker that's on the Ryder Carroll's like actual official bullet journal site where you write down the things that you're supposed to do at the top there and then you have like little indicators of when you should do them like this tiny dot and when you actually did them bigger dot so that's what I was doing anyway and you can see there's a lot of tiny dots left a lot of times I didn't do it so that continued on for the entire month of March lots of little dots not so many big dots and then this page is probably the best looking page in my bullet journal just because I set it up digitally. I messed up the first time and I'm like, you know what, I'll just print it out, all put together, and then slap it down. And this is part of my um, goals for creating a personal uniform. So I can wear pretty much the same thing every day, or like a capsule wardrobe that I can just blindfold myself, go into my closet, randomly grab things, and I'll still look cute. Like, easy, bold, quirky, clean, like a K-drama girl next door. Those, those are my fashion goals, okay? So then I just got some images of things I want. And I might not necessarily buy these exact same things, but I have some check boxes for when I maybe get like an equivalent of um, those things, like jeans. Yeah, do I really need to buy those jeans? No, but I have jeans. Some outfit principles for me that uh, maybe I should start just dressing in neutrals first and then just have like one pop of color and then like maybe mix and match the loose and the tight fitted stuff. Yeah, even went down to like glasses, haircuts, earrings. This is what I want to look like. And there's my color palette. If the clothing is not this color or one of these colors, or not even close, like let's say a vivid purple, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it because that's not me. That's not my personal uniform anymore. So that was super fun to make, but it took me forever. And then this day templates, this I got the idea from the book called uh, productivity for creative people. It's a good read and I think it's a free ebook so you might want to check that out. So he was talking about how your days usually fall into typical like templates or typical patterns like some moms have right like the school day versus the weekend or whatever. So my days fall into when I have my Chipotle work marked in gray. Sometimes after work I am so tired from dealing with people that I can only do low energy tasks or I have my art classes afterward and then I'm super tired at the end of the day. So um, what I found was even though I had the time, like let's say on a short shift, like I got home at two o'clock, I had the time to be productive from two o'clock until dinner time at um, six, but I had zero energy, like zero and I came to the realization that just because you have time doesn't mean you can do anything you want. And so it made me be more mindful of what kind of things do I need to do when I have low energy versus when I have high energy. And also that you do need downtime, you do need rejuvenation time. So anybody who picks on me that I'm, you know, watching too much TV and not, you know, filming my videos enough or not working on my online business enough or whatever, it's like, no, you don't even understand, okay? Like, until you have been out of the house from 7 in the morning until 7 at night, 
you cannot talk to me about that, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what that page was. And then over here I also wrote down some things that I feel like I can do when I have low mental energy but high physical energy versus, you know, low physical energy but high mental energy. Um, those kind of things, so that, that page is kind of a mess because things happened. This page, things, smash pages, my sister loves smash books where you can just like stick in whatever random thing you want to stick in and keep it someplace and this is a little watercolor dragon I have and I had nowhere else to put it, but it makes that page a little awkwardly heavy. Anyhow, little ninja to uh, mark my April month overview and this is also a mess. I'm still trying to find a cleaner way to do this, but I haven't found it yet. So I've started putting the number of the weeks of the year and then the week. Does that make sense? Like it's the 13th week of the year all the way down to the 18th week of the year. So there's 52 weeks in a year, right? So that's what that's all about. And then on each day I can um, add any work notes. That's the highlighter is um, my art classes. And then sometimes I'll write a couple notes about what I did that day. Like after I got back from a little outing with my sister at 2 p.m. Then I worked on my dragon demo until it was time to leave for art class. So that was a day off. That was not really a day off. And then on Friday, a um, little note about class. Actually, I should probably have written this on the actual class page coming up. But anyway, um, I only had uh, one of the crew as a student for class one, and then nobody came for the second class, so I went home early. Yay me. And then it was also Splatfest, which is like a video game uh, time-sensitive tournament type thing. And I played a little of that before I gave up from frustration. So that's that. And then I actually already did that, so I'm going to check that off. And anything else I want to look at? Maybe? Oh! My D&D session got um, pushed back a week, so actually that one's going to go there. And then the following week is not going to be a D&D session because we only do it every other week. So Dungeons & Dragons is not happening on the 29th. Where's some whiteout? Whiteout. Get some whiteout. Stat. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, a little bit there? Yeah, maybe that little tail hanging out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's some whiteout of legend. And... Anything else I don't want to do while I'm here? Not really. So again, here's um, the habit tracker slash routine thingy. Wow, has not been much? Uh, where I write down the things I need to do regularly, like clean the bathroom, change my sheets, draw for my webcomic, blah blah blah. And the little dots are representing when I plan to do them. And then the larger dots, like oh here I'm showing you, look, little dots all over the place, just like stars in the sky. And then the larger dots are when I do them. So, um... Uh, Kind of missing the point about building the routine. Lots of little dots. I was very ambitious that week, but then didn't do anything, right? So that's kind of the ongoing troubles. Although I did study my Korean on that day, so I'm gonna give myself the point. Um, yeah, not quite sure what to do with this yet. I know there's a piece missing here. The, the missing link in between planning something and doing something. Isn't that always the mystery? So the 17th week I haven't planned out yet because I haven't gotten my schedule yet, so I can't really decide which days I'm going to try to do things, um, other than I know on the 26th I can um, do some Korean because I can study during my break at work, or because they almost always um, give me a Friday as a day at work. Anyhow, over here, got some art class stuff going on. When I painted my demos I gave a little check box, but, or a uh, check mark, but I didn't need that one, so... I guess we'll cross that one out. Make a data tracking collection in this bujo. What? What does that even mean? I'm gonna write a little note here. What? What does this even mean? I don't know. Betsy of the past, what were you trying to do? My mom's video is not going so well. Lots of little dots also. Um, haven't done my t-shirt designs yet. Oh, Patreon follow-up. Should I shut it down? Uh, I have a Patreon page that many of you know about. But um, since I haven't had the time to do as many videos as I used to, and I don't have time to like do any extras, I don't have my sticker shop anymore, so it's kind of like, why is the Patreon there then? So I might shut that down. Protect the asset. 
So that was a page that I messed up on and I needed to cover it up, so I just slapped in some gray paper and wrote with a huge marker this um, quote that I heard about, which was kind of inspiring actually because they were talking about like, if you had to protect something, wouldn't you do your utmost hardest to protect it? And how come we don't do that with our own goals, right? How come you're not protecting your health? How come you're not protecting your financial security by starting your own business or whatever, right? Protect the asset, protect yourself. Here I'm demonstrating what the kids do on these templates, except that looks like Spider-Man's wearing a dress now. I'm sorry, Spider-Man, that wasn't supposed to be a dress. But anyway, I make this template and then they design on top of it for their own version of Spider-Man, just like in to the Spider-Verse, that movie. That class is not going well though, so we'll just move to the next page. Boring college stuff, because I have to go back for that transferable AA, take some amazing subjects like English 1D and Math 12, Probability and Statistics Introduction. Fun times, American history, again, alrighty then. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it's something I have to do because I'm an adult, yeah. And then, uh, happy and sad news here. Some of you may know that my favorite show ever, like Two Days, One Night, is now possibly never gonna come back because of things that I don't wanna talk about because I was very disappointed in um, the behavior of some of the cast members. But anyway, um, then along came this other show called Master in the House or Chipsabu Irche. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, and I tried to copy their logo, but obviously had some trouble on the middle of the pages there. But the premise is that um, these four guys spend uh, two days and a night with somebody who's highly successful and learn life lessons. And so I write down some of the things, sometimes paraphrase, just that touch my heart and uh, I want to remember, and so these pages will be filled up as I continue to watch this show. Um, that one in particular, I thought is uh, resonating with me because all you need is you know one more to be better. Like if you wanna drink eight glasses of water for whatever reason, because that's not a thing, people. Like that's a myth, don't do that. Don't drink eight glasses of water a day. Uh, but let's say you wanted to eat, I don't know, five cups of green salad a day. You only have to eat one more today than you did yesterday to get closer to your goals. So yeah, do that. Over here, this pretty little tracker thingy is how I am monitoring my progress with understanding the Korean stories from that book I showed you just uh, moments ago, I think. Um, so there's the first 10 and uh, some of them I know 100%. I can understand them like backwards and forwards, others not so much. Yeah, you're not misreading that. That's that's the farting match. That's the story coming up, number nine. I think I, I went ahead a few pages and just checked and you know to make sure was that really a farting match? And yeah, I'm gonna learn how to say not only the noun fart, but also the verb to fart. So that's gonna be some fun times right there. But anyway, that's as far as I've gotten in my bullet journal and it's still working for me, but it's still a work in progress also. So there are some things that are not working out so great, which I'm going to go into depth a little bit more next video because you guys know I'm working on my health, right? Working on losing weight. And boy, do I have a rant about weight loss trackers. So that's coming up next time.